Hi, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna dive into how to use and build a sales CRM inside of Softer. CRMs are useful for managing relationships and interacting with customers across the entire customer lifecycle by keeping track of all of their information centralized for your entire team. And improving these relationships is what's going to make your business grow because you can identify more opportunities and collaborate more effectively. But the question is, how can you build a sales CRM? Luckily, here at Softer, we actually have a template for you that'll make it extremely easy for you to use. In the app, you can have different access levels depending on the user group, as well as an account manager. You can also search and filter among the contacts and document and put labels on clients so that you know where they are in the funnel. Of course, you can track deals, notes, and interactions as well. You can find this free sales CRM template by going to our website, software.io slash templates slash sales hyphen CRM using the link down below. You can also access it there. And just like with any of our other templates, all you need to do is click use template, connect it to a data source. We'll use Airtable for this example. And then after that, we'll copy the base to our Airtable account and add the base. And then last but not least, we'll create an application. And you'll see that the base copied over to my Airtable and it has a few different bases here. There's one for employees, the different deals that we have, it's connected to the owners and the accounts, the contacts, interactions with those contacts and deals, and then the accounts themselves, which would be the companies that we'd be dealing with. You can see that there's all this information about the company, the size of the company, the industry, their logo, and how many deals we've dealt with. This is actually a formula that's counting how many deals this is related to per company. Now we can actually preview the template like any of our others here at Softer, and you'll see that there are two different options for previewing. There's one for an account executive and one for a manager. These are for the two different user groups that are within this template. Going into the preview with account manager, we can see that there are four different main areas of this template. There's going to be deals, accounts, contacts, and interactions. So if I four were to example, click on deals here, it would showcase my deals. In the back end of our software app, you can see that on this page, the my deals is conditionally filtered to the logged in user's email. So owner email is logged in user's email. So this makes it so that these deals are only popping up for me, the owner, who in this case, the profile will show in this example that it's Dominica Lee. So their deals will all show up here. And then as well, I can add or search for any of them, but you'll see that this is in a board view. So there's none that are in the qualification view. There's some that's proposal. If I scroll over, you can see that I've lost a couple deals in my life if I was Dominica, which makes me sad. But if I click on WP, you can see that the value's there. And then you'll see even more information, which shows the priority level, the name of the account. Once again, the owner who would be Dominica Lee and then interactions regarding it. Now, if a new interaction were to happen, I can add this interaction. So very easy to do, very convenient. And just off the bat, you'll see that there are different options that would be good to know, like the contact that the interaction was with, which specific deal it was about, the date that the interaction took place on, and the type. Now, in the back end, we can tweak some of this kind of stuff. So the deal details page, as you can see, is filtered for the related interactions to the deals name is deal name. So we could actually, in something like this deals page, add up some customization that could be convenient. So for example, if I only want to look at specific priority levels, I can make a filter that's in line and then filter it by the priority. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either do a single or multi-select, but I'll do multi-select. And then when opening up this, now when I go to the deals, you'll see that now what I can do is I can filter these to, for example, just the high leads or high and low. And then if I click on these, they'll untoggle and I can select multiple of these different options at once. And if I wanted to, I could have the colors actually be defined as data source. So by doing that, you'll see that high, low, medium, very high and very low will actually be matching to the priority levels that would be seen here. As you can see, high is gonna be green. So if we go back into our software app, high would be green. 
I really like this because it matches your data source with what you have in your app. Now, some of the other pages that you're gonna have within this sales CRM are pretty cool. We have all of the accounts here. So for example, I can click onto one of these accounts and see the different contacts that are a part of them and the different deals that they've been a part of, as well as it's gonna link out to all of the different account information, like their LinkedIn website. And then furthermore, if I go to one that has a contact, you can see what their name is, their title, phone number, and their information. By clicking inside them, we then can see the different interactions that they've been a part of. So you can see how quickly this is a very easy to use and interconnected app because I then can go to the sunlight renewal discovery and it has a toggle feature that opens and closes the information of that interaction. So you can see what notes were taken, like the Lorem Ipsum that we put in the template, uh, the date of the interaction, who it was with employee-wise, the contact, that's obviously Michelle, because we're in here because this is filtered to interactions that were done with this person and what the deal was for. There's also a side filter that allows us to see, for example, just legal or just pricing. If there is none, then clicking on the same one again will untick that. But the contacts and interaction pages are very similar. Uh, we can see that on each one, it's filtered to my interactions and then actually all contacts. So the only pages that show all are the accounts and contacts pages, whereas the interactions and deals only show my interactions and deals. But once again, clicking on any of these is gonna be so great because we can see the information of the person and then their interactions. And across the board, this template just allows me to have a full picture of the different deals that are going on, the people related to those deals, and then those interactions that happened along the way. If you wanted to, you can update this in a myriad of different ways to make it easier to keep these deals up to date, change the status, add more people to the deals, adjust contact information, and much, much more. You can do a lot of this stuff by once you go into the entity itself, like this deal, press update, and it would allow me to change the different stages it was in. So say if I were to change this to Ace Poly, it goes into the closed one page. If I go back and scroll over to closed one, we'll see that I closed a huge deal. Just look at that value right there. And also pro tip, I actually can change these stages by clicking on this and dragging it over, which is so cool. And you can also change the rest of it as well inside of the deal details as well. So I hope you can see that through this video, it's so easy and simple to make a very nice sales CRM and custom system inside of software. If you're looking for more videos on how to improve your software skills, make sure to check more out like this one on how to improve your software skills even more.